All right, so we have an example problem where we have a ball of mass, 0.75 kilograms, is traveling 30 meters per second in the positive x direction. So we have a ball traveling at 30 meters per second initially, and then this strikes a tennis racket. So side view of a tennis racket. And we know how long the ball is in contact with the tennis racket, and then comes back in the opposite direction. So we want to know what the impulse on the ball was from the racket and what the force applied to the ball by the racket is. So we need to make use of our impulse momentum theorem because first we need to solve for impulse and since we have our two velocities 30 meters per second initially and 40 meters per second finally and we have the mass of the ball we can make use of the portion of the impulse momentum theorem that says impulse equals the change of momentum or the same thing as mass times the change in velocity. So I plugged in my mass here at 0.75 kilograms. Now here's the tricky part. We know initially the ball is traveling at 30 meters per second in the positive x direction, but then comes back traveling in the opposite direction. So the opposite of positive x direction is negative x direction. So this means that the final velocity is going to be a negative 40 meters per second. So when we plug in, in our impulse momentum theorem, we're going to take our 0.75 kilograms times the quantity at negative 40 meters per second minus 30 meters per second. So we end up with an impulse of negative 52.5 kilogram meter per second. So that handles part A, we found the impulse. Now we need to find the force that the racket applied to the ball. In which case we can use the other half of the impulse momentum theorem, the idea that impulse equals force times the change in time. So we're given time in the problem, 2.5 milliseconds, so we need to divide by 1,000 and convert from milliseconds to seconds. So we end up with 2.5 times 7 to the minus 3 seconds. And we have the impulse from part A. So we're going to take our impulse, divide it by that time, and we end up with a force of 21,000 newtons.